Hello and welcome to Garden Warfare 2. I am Spectre and I am here. Well, I'm here to show you a good time. Well, you, not me. I'm about to have a very bad time. And the reason is because I decided to play a gardens and graveyards in um, mode in solo play because solo play is a big part of this game the fact that you can jump in solo and play which is great it's a good t it's about time they actually added that to the game and uh, they made a good praise about it being an actual thing now you can play of course every single multiplayer mode in um, wrong button there we go okay so you can play like every single ooh wrong button you can play like every single uh, hmm, let's see where should we go let's go to uh, here uh, and we're going on crazy yes now you can play basically every single mode except for turf takeover like everything is there except for turf takeover so yeah you can play everything else uh, on basically against the AI however Something that I have noticed, I've played a few AI matches on normal difficulty and they were pretty tough. The AI has a way of noting exactly where you are and they don't really miss, they are spot on. And even on normal difficulty, certain modes can be very hard, at least that's how I find. I'm not the best player, but you know, there are so many people who play this game that are not exactly, you know, expert players or pro players. They just buy the game and want to have a good time so if you play a game you know you'll go for normal you're kind of forced to choose a certain difficulty because of the bonus multiplier you'll notice that the difficulty modifier g gives you like more coins and of course you want more coins so you can unlock more uh, sticker packs but if you're you know having a hard time then you're not exactly gonna gain anything so uh, so yeah, it's 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 very important to to for the AI to be well balanced, which right now it's not really that balanced across difficulties. They have a very very good aim, no matter what difficulty you're playing. So I want to give this a go. I want to test on crazy. I will probably die a lot, so expect a barrage of deaths. That is pretty much uh, happening a lot. Anyway, so I'm going to be playing as with the zombie side, I'm going to be on the offense, I'm going to be playing as this dude, anyways, as a soldier, a basic soldier, apparently this is the, this is the fire, this is the fire variant of the soldier, and uh, he's supposed to be, you know, he does a single fire damage that does continuous damage through his fire uh, damage, so yeah, so uh, abilities... I'm gonna leave him with his default abilities. Interesting fact, so far I haven't noticed any of the uh, other classes of the three new classes to actually have other abilities. They're pretty much stuck with the same abilities and isn't it a bit kind of unfair that they basically have, you know, like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 variants well, 9 minus the original, of uh, basically each of the old classes. But from the new ones, we only have, what, 3, 4, 5? Five? 5 total? Which kind of sucks a lot. It's like, you know, these characters were like, you know, oh my god, we have these 3 new characters, which is amazing, they're awesome and everything, but they only do 5 variants of each? I mean, come on. It's like they didn't give any much effort into it. Jeez. Anyways. So I'm kind of thinking, okay, maybe I'll be a soldier. I'll, I'll, I'll switch, basically, classes every single time I die. So expect to see a lot of classes. <laughs> I'll try not to choose the same class too many times. Um, or many things. Anyways, yeah, let's go. Let's go for it. So, we start <laughs> here. My AI partners have spawned. Now... The AIs, as far as the uh, zombies go, have the advantage as far as offensive measures go. I mean, they are, they're pre pure on offense. And I believe that the plants still have an advantage when it comes to... Um, 
being the fence basically. Holy crap, look at all those kills. Oh, we got an, oh, we got a chomper. Let's see if we can help this guy. He's occupied apparently. And he's dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got annihilated by a cactus that just appeared out of nowhere. Well that was uh fast. Right, let's let's try something else. Uh let's go with uh this dude. I think I'll stay at a distance seeing as they can kill you very quickly. Now normally, since I'm playing with AIs as well, this should mean that I'm like Okay, let's kill that guy. Oh wow, I killed someone. That take a while. Oh shit. Okay, he died. Huh, that was good. Wait, why am I not- that's a perfect hit, why am I not hitting them? Okay. I kinda feel like I should stay here. Back. What was I saying before? I have a feeling that I was saying something. Uh, I believe I was saying something about the AI, but I completely forgot. Yeah, uh, I remember now. Normally the AI is, should be like, you know, since I'm playing also with AI, like my teammates are AI, they should also be, <coughs> excuse me, they should also, they should also be very good. So that should counterbalance at least that I have good teammates, hopefully. I'm not sure, as this game, you know, I, I'd imagine that being hard means gotta watch my back. I see you there, creeping out in the shadows. Well, technically you're not creeping, you're kind of in the... Oh shit, they're, they're actually planning. Why are they, they actually have infinite, like, bots or plants. Literally. Did I have, but that's a bit unfair. I guess it would make soon. Wait, oh, did we, did we did we do it? Did we do the thing? I think we did the thing. Okay, I guess uh, Captain Deadbeard is okay. Oh, chomper. Okay, there we go. If uh, you're attacked by a chomper with uh, Captain Deadbeard, uh, the best I think choice I believe is to basically become a barrel. Become a barrel jump into a barrel or use your rodeo because if the chomper tries to chomp you he'll basically just chomp the barrel or the rodeo meaning that you will be able to um survive so are these what are these footprints here i see footprints to somewhere oh there's a sunflower over there uh sunflower a rose and i am missing horribly oh there's another uh dead beater there with me Whoop, easy there. Oh yeah. And they're doing the revise. Okay. I think I got this. I don't got this. I'm missing. There we go. I think she was trying to revive, which is why she was standing still. Yeah. And the, the trick in uh, this game is basically to... Um, I believe to kill their healers, because... If you don't kill their healers, they'll just keep reviving them, and if they're revived by healers, they basically have full health, so... Oh, I was gonna revive you, dude. Why did you go away? Okay, let's uh, do this. Actually, that's a bad position. Let's change our position. Uh... Oh, we already captured the thing. I kinda feel like the fight is... I'm being... I'm trying to be cautious, but... I... It's a bit difficult. I have to admit, my AI partners are doing a pretty decent job. Huh? And I got a trophy. I have no idea. Okay. So where are we going now? We're going to uh, Z Egypt. This is actually going a lot... Uh, this might be a part 1, part 2 episode because apparently we are... Actually doing some quite some progress. I did not ex anticipate that I would be able to do... I suppose... It does prove that, yeah, you the AI does become stronger, but so does yours if you're playing with AI players, so... 
AI players, AI, you know, partners. So that's a good thing. At least you can like, quit, like stay in the background and, you know, be a sniper class or something and attack at a distance. Uh oh, I see a chomper somewhere there. I kind of feel like they shouldn't have, um, excuse me, I'm trying to shoot him. I am hitting him straight in the face. Why did all those hits did not hit? They don't connect for some reason. Like everyone saw that I was doing like I did like three to four critical hits right in the face. All right, we got an assist. Oh wait, there's a rose around here. Let's kill this rose. It's a bit close to me. There we go. I should do it. And we kill the uh, the, the chompers. All right, I'm gonna stay at a distance. Uh, the engineer just reminded me that I should use my uh, rodeo, and I should probably focus on those uh, healies so they can heal. We also have a um, that one. Those guys. How did I die? Oh, I got sniped. Okay. A snipe from where? And I'm being revived by an unknown entity, apparently. Is that a glitch? I think I found a glitch. I'm being revived even though I'm not being revived. I kind of like the dead beard. It's pretty decent. Okay. Let's, uh, let's be an engineer. I kind of want to say, considering that I know that the uh, AI is tougher, I kind of want to stay back in the sidelines. Just snipe at a distance and wow, we are doing pretty good. That said, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just uh, killing things and hoping that my teammates will basically, you know, uh, push them back because I believe that that's pretty much what uh, these ops games ops games these uh, type of games are all about they're all about and we got that there's still people here they're completely inactive for some reason all right then let's just move on oh we have someone here we can revive I don't know if it's actually like worth reviving um, as what I am, well, it, it actually isn't. Unless it's a healer, it's not really worth reviving them because, ow, how did I not see that? <laughs> oh, and you're taunting me. How cute. I seriously did not see that coming. And that guy is supposed to be reviving me, but he somehow isn't. The reviving system for the AI is kind of glitchy. Like, they don't seem to revive that well, and they get very easily distracted. I mean, look at that. Oh, I auto spawned. I didn't know that. Okay. Looks like we're gonna be staying with this guy. I'm gonna summon one of these goo goo dudes, goods, uh, so they can like um, <coughs> hopefully make my team faster. And speaking of faster, I should probably be moving. Uh, what else should I need? Oh, I forgot that that cancels my uh, thingy. Okay, looks like a teleporter has been built for that to disappear. And oh, I did not know that I would be straight here. Okay. Uh, Oh, that's a that's one of my side. Okay, let's just spray these around, do some toxic damage. I believe toxic damage spreads to multiple um, z uh, zombies, uh, plants. So that's a good thing. I have to admit though, the um, the engineer is only good at making assists. Like you have to be very very good at aiming to actually make a. Uh, actually make a kill oh wait a minute this is nowhere near to oh it is oh wow i'm right here i didn't know that but i'm out of time all right looks like i'm gonna have to continue this in a part two well thank you for watching i'll see you at part two of this uh, insane little thing